when you have 800 children not being able to access to care, and you are a parent, that is what is offensive. We have tried in the state of Florida. I have been for eight years here. We have passed several reforms. We have passed kick, uh, Cover Florida, several flex uh, uh, programs. We still have 20% of our population uninsured. That is what is offensive to me. Scripture tells us truthfully that when expectations are destroyed, it maketh the heart sick. Our psychiatrists and psychologists today have defined that as depression. Mandates, therefore, are already in less than 24 hours imposing anxiety, panic attacks, and depression. Every society has realized, it seems but ours, that the health of our fellow citizens is extremely important. To me, it's, it's very simple, really. We're Americans. We have certain personal freedoms and certain personal liberties that, quite frankly, are in this document right here. And nowhere in there do I see in the Bill of Rights that health care is in the Bill of Rights. I, I'm against uh, government intrusion. Certainly, I'm against government mandates. However, I'm also against people who goes to work every day, who, people who have families who cannot send their children and their families to the doctor because they don't have any form of health care. There is a lot of angst and a lot of excitement going on in our country right now over the health care legislation that passed. The magnitude of what was passed last night and the implications to our constituents is so great that I believe it is in the best interest of my constituents to give them the right to vote on at least this particular liberty of whether or not the federal government can force them to buy a product. We have an opportunity today, members, to take the first step to give Floridians medical freedom, which, in my opinion, should be on the same level of rights as freedom of speech, freedom, gun rights, freedom of religion, and other sacred freedoms that we hold so dear.